This is a patent filed by David Schwartz. And you can see at a company called David Schwartz Enterprise. He essentially outlines a similar thing that he published in 1991, the date of the patent. Uh, but this was actually filed in 1980, so a long time ago. Remember, he is the chief architect of Ripple, okay? It says a multi-level distributed computer system for distributed processing. So here, this is a decentralized sort of computing system, as it were, but it's all very much the same. You know, a lot of your deep in projects are essentially trying to do this. So a number of years before the NSA, which David Schwartz did some consulting for, you know, actually published that paper. And the story of Ripple as a company, Ripple as a company actually exists in 2004. This is Brian Fudger, who essentially sort of gave the company to Chris, David, and uh, Deb McCaleb at the time. Then you can see here, he says, a proposal for a decentralized currency network to facilitate decentralized payments via non-bank and non-government intermediaries. We need to maintain a social network in which connections between parties are defined by granting credit. A computer will do the work of finding the IOU payment path through the network. Ripple did exist in 2008 before all of this. There was papers on essentially using cryptography to enable distributed ledger technology or, or, or blockchains, certainly prior to Bitcoin's creation. And that ha definitely has links to the CIA. We're at the, the NSA, we're at a state today where actually the United States is going to embrace this technology to sort of globally reset the financial system. I think there's a lot going on. One thing I know is that Ripple is extremely well positioned in all of this and essentially designed to enable it, in my opinion.